Wow, what a weekend it's been. We've just wrapped up Magical Marimbula three-day photography tour. We had a fantastic group of eight participants that have come here from across Australia. We had incredible light at times. We had amazing scenery. The meals were absolutely to die for and a big spacious 16-seater minibus for our small group of eight to spread out and travel in luxury for the entire trip. Each night we came home to luxury accommodation at the beautiful coast resort in Marimbula. It still blows my mind that not that many people have visited Marimbula or the Sapphire Coast on New South Wales. It's a stunning region and has so much to offer, yet it's so untouched. I have to admit, I wasn't sure where Marimbula was. I'd seen the photos from here and I particularly like seascape so I get signed up to come on this tour. I've loved it, it's been great. It's sort of given me a lot of the type of photography I really like, the long exposures with water and We went down to Camel Rock and Horsehead. Uh, that was a special treat. The coastline there was just amazing. It was it was quite spectacular. Subjects around here are just amazing and of a variety too. I enjoyed the way the waves were breaking over the rock. The rock pools is something I'm not used to, so again, that's something I really enjoy. It's quite a diverse set of sites. I've enjoyed them all. I've fallen in love with waves and the sea, and this workshop's been the best I've been on. It's just fantastic. So many good subjects and great weather, and lots of help. It's not necessarily better, it's just something a bit different. It's quite accessible to get to Marimbula now, with Qantas flying directly in from Sydney or Melbourne. For three days, I'm gonna take you to incredible places that will literally blow your mind. And I'll take you there at the perfect time so that you capture the best possible conditions. People think you can just go out and do photography, but the knowledge he has of each site we go to, of tides, of weather, of you know, which way it's pointing, of the best composition, you, you just can't get that by going out on your own. You know, you try and absorb as much of that as you can and then when you go back you try and remember it and then put it into practice um, until the following year when you get a reboot. <laughs> Coming on this trip is a little bit more than a photography trip because I get to eat really nice meals in really lovely restaurants which I don't always get to go to these days. It's not like a photography boot camp, it's like a photography indulgence. <laughs> It's equally lovely to travel in comfort and the, the minibus we have every time is certainly that. It's basically luxury vehicles. We've always had really friendly drivers. Each time we go on a trip it's like a little family and that includes Mark and the driver and anyone else with us. We travel in comfort, we stay in nice accommodation, we eat nice food and we go to amazing sites and we have Mark helping us. There's so many awesome spots that we take people to from Bonda Island to Camel Rock, Horsehead, uh, the Sea Baths in Eden, they're all amazing, but you need to be there at the right time of day to capture them in the right conditions also. We start the trip off by getting everyone set up with the correct gear, the correct settings on their cameras, and making sure that they all have a head start before we even take a single photo. After that, we dive right in and we head out to our first location. On each of our tours, we do what we call a critiquing session where we show people how to put the finishing touches on their photos. The reason I chose Mark's tours in the first place is because I saw his photographs and I, I liked them and I thought, wow, I'd like to take those. Let's 
go to the person that takes them and learn. On my first tour, I was a little bit nervous. We were nervous as anything, and as soon as we met Mark, we knew it was going to be fantastic. I didn't quite know what to expect. Mark's so welcoming and so easy to get on with. Mark caters for you so well. And all his staff and all the people that work with him make you feel so relaxed. You never feel stupid asking anything. You know, you learn so much and they're just all so professional and such nice people. Some of the things that are a challenge that I haven't thought I'd be able to do, but Mark Soares encouraged me to do it because of the end result. And because I get an end result, it gives me more confidence. I've done four of Mark's tours, but I've tried to do one a year. This is my fifth. I get kind of excited planning which one I'm going to do next, and then that's what I look forward to for my year. And the first one was New Zealand, and that was a huge thing to go on because I was quite anxious about what was going to happen, but it all flowed beautifully and, you know, the accommodation was great, meals are great. Each tour I've come on, uh, there's, a, there's a little group of us that have made friends and we've stayed on afterwards and quite often we'll come on a tour and some of the same people from previous tours are on it. Really good friendships, particularly Mandy. This is our third trip together, so we're great mates and we usually rent a house or something and stay on afterwards, which is really, really nice. It's not always easy to find people to go out and do photography with and to actually find that group of people that have similar interests and, um, and you can get on with um, is pretty special. Well being with a group that encourages you, you don't, you don't want to let anyone down and, or hold anyone up. It's really good because I have Mandy or Robin's with me on the workshops and, and it encourages me to get out and I don't want to let them down. I've got quite a big bucket list of tours I'd like to go on. Probably top of that list is the Esperance tour. Mark showed us some pictures of where he was planning to start a tour. It's somewhere I'd really like to go. I'll probably be signing up for that in the next couple of years because the coastline and the scenery over there just looks amazing. One of the benefits of coming on a photography tour is you don't just go home with memories. You go home with fantastic photographs. Photos that are such good quality that you can print them, frame them and hang them on your wall. Just so much beauty out there and to capture it in a photo. People are out there taking pictures with iPhones but when you actually do proper photography you go one step beyond that. You lose the proper lenses, the proper filters. It, it's more of an art form. There's so much more to landscape photography than getting your settings right on your camera. To learn what's required, you must immerse yourself in nature, and we deliver that on all our photography tours. 